Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day. It is time for us to do empties. Um, I have probably two empties videos for you guys this month, if not three, um, because I didn't get a chance to film for a little while. These things multiplied like bunnies. So let's go ahead and get into it. First thing I have is this Golden Magnolia um, Glowing Body Scrub from Bath & Body Works. I picked this up at some annual sale last summer and I really like the scrub on here. I was surprised as I'm pretty faithful to the Body Shop's scrubs. However, I really didn't like the scent. I didn't realize, like I like it in the bottle, but I think um, in with my body chemistry, it just doesn't work. So I wouldn't purchase this scent again, but I was not opposed to looking at getting some of their scrubs during the semi-annual sale if I'm in a place where I need them. Only, only if I need them. Um, I did a video on this before, but I use scrubs just once a week. I do um, a deep cleanse shower on Sundays. It's a routine that I have. It's a video. Um, I'll link it below if I remember to, but it's something special I do each Sunday. Next up, I have the Sedona um, Botanica Scented Wax Warmer Cubes. This is the scent Pumpkin Pie. This was delightful, very pleasant, very um, sweet, which I enjoy, so I would definitely purchase these again used up this Glade Sage and Thyme Margit, uh, Margit, Market um, Room Spray. This stuff is great. Unfortunately, these collections tend to be limited edition, but um, this was just marvelous. It ate up any odor and then had this really pleasant scent. I very much enjoyed it and I was not expecting to. Um, I have a e.l.f. Daily Brush Cleaner. Love this stuff. Already have two more backups. What is life? Uh, I used up, this was actually a surprise. This is the fortune cookie. Um, this bottle looks really nasty. This is the Garden of Good Marshmallow Dreams Cuticle Butter. I have used pretty much all the product in here. Um, I have used this pretty faithfully for a full year. This came in one of my boxes. It's a great cuticle butter. The only thing is it's messy. Um, I, I tend to get it kind of everywhere when I use it, but I do like it. So I have another one that I got in another box. So I'm all set with this stuff. I have this EOS uh, lip balm. This is in, I believe, the Sweet Mint scent. It is far from gone. Um, however, I this is really weird, but I noticed every time I used this, I think the taste of it would make me lose my appetite. So I'm just getting rid of it because I don't want to force myself to use a product that makes me not want to eat. I'm a girl who likes to eat. So I'm going to say goodbye to this, but I do have another EOS lip balm, and I'm hoping that I won't dislike the scent as much. Um, with a heavy heart, I bring to you guys um, the a new Rejuvenate Day and Night Cream from Avon. They don't make this stuff anymore. Um, I'm really upset about it. I have a video coming for you guys that reviews the new e.l.f. Um, day and Night Cream and Under Eye Cream. Um, I've thought about going on eBay for this stuff, but I don't want to worry about it being expired or not being the right quality. So I'm just in the hunt right now to find the same great for my skin uh, moisturizer that the Avon line was. Since they've changed their line, I don't like it. I don't think it's as good of quality. It doesn't work as well for my skin, so I'm still very bitter. I have this Colgate Optic White Enamel White <laughs> Toothpaste. I love this stuff. I will keep buying it. I think I have at least two or three more on reserve. I have my fortune cookie soap, Wonderland. It's only a dream whipped cream. This stuff um, smelled too much like laundry detergent for my personal liking, so I would not actually place a purchase for it. I have this uh, Glam Glow Bright Mud. This stuff is great. Love it all the time. Um, this is the John Frieda Luxurious Volume 7 Day Volume. This stuff I don't like. It is way too heavy on your hair, and I have really thick, coarse hair, so I don't know who can use this stuff. But like today, I showered this morning, and I feel like my hair looks a little greasy, and it feels way down. It feels like there's product in here, and I don't like that, so I would not purchase this. I didn't even finish it. I only used it once and it's supposed to last you three uses. It very specifically outlines on the bottom. I have some more shampoo and conditioner. This is the Essence Old Time um, from, it's from the Walmart Beauty Box. I wouldn't buy this. This stuff had a nice scent, but it didn't really lather. So I never really felt like my hair was getting a full clean. And I felt like I had to use more product than was necessary to wash my hair. But I, you know, didn't hate having it. 
Very proud of myself. I used up this Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Foundation. This is the first foundation I have ever used and it essentially is like a beauty cream where it is more of a light to medium coverage, which is all I really am looking for. But since then I have purchased this, but I've been going back to BB creams, I think because it's that time of year where I'm more in the mode to want my freckles to show and just sort of be a light coverage because I don't have, fortunately for me, too many blemishes I'm looking to cover up and I don't ever want to have uh, a cakey looking face. This empty bag was uh, once the holder of the um, like, floss like the sticks of floss that are like pre-cut on the little sticks they were awful i'm glad that they're gone they just weren't good quality so it was hard to use them but i'm determined to be a good flosser and i do floss every single night i have a this has a hair on it i apologize this is the meyer lemon pocket back from um, bath and body works i love this scent i'm very sad that it's gone i definitely like to have hand sanitizer in my car so i probably will pick up another one of these in the lemon scent if they still carry it i have some cotton rounds these are just a hundred uh, of them i hadn't gone through these as quick as i thought i would simply because i have been using mostly um I make a remover wipes and not liquid, but now that I'm using liquid again, um, I'm going to be using more and more of these. Those ones were perfectly fine. I have this um, uh, Bath & Body Works Carried Away Triple Moisture Body Cream. Um, I cut it open just for funsies because I was curious to know how much lotion I was actually leaving inside the tube. And I squeezed and squeezed and squeezed. And then right when I finally said to myself, okay, this is where I normally call it good, I thought I would cut it open to see how much I had left in there. And I'm pretty much a beast at getting the like product out of these because I didn't have a lot of product left in here. I think I had um, a leg's worth of lotion left, which I'm okay letting that go. Um, but I think that's a testament to me having so many of these lotions that I've learned how to manipulate the packaging to get all of it out. Both sad and impressive, I think. I have my last Caudalie hand and nail cream. This is in the one ounce. Uh, I'm done with this. I don't think I need to buy this stuff anymore. I don't think it's as special as I once thought it was now that I have been um, pursuing and trying out other hand cream types, but I did enjoy this particular scent. All right, moving on down the line. I've got this Miraness Curl Mascara Sample. Um, this stuff really wasn't that great. The wand is weird to use. The product is... Nah, I would not buy this. I feel like any of the Miraness products I've tried, I have not liked, and this stuff is not cheap. Their products are rather pricey, so not gonna purchase that. Uh, I have this Lady Gaga Fame perfume. So, so sad to report. It is way too musky for me. I don't like it. When I sprayed it on myself, I had to like wash my wrist and then put a new fragrance on because it just really wasn't my jam. I used up this Secret Clinical Strength Invisible Solid. I surprisingly have found that my body has not adapted to the solid sticks, so I can keep using the Secret Clinical Strength deodorant without smelling as long as it's the solid sticks, so I'm glad to have discovered that with this sample. I used up a NYX Butter Gloss. This is in the color Claire. Um, I'm just very proud of myself. I, without realizing it, am really chewing through lip products. Uh, I've noticed that if I focus on one and really hone in on that and use that, I'm able to get through it a little bit more efficiently. Um, I took the stopper out of it and um, put it into a little tiny smaller pot, little jar, and then I was able to use the product from there. I like this color a lot. I definitely would purchase it again if and when the time comes for me to purchase more lip products. I used up a lip uh, balm, technically, even though it feels like a gloss. This is the Mollen and Goats Mojito Lip Balm. This stuff was great. I actually have another one that I got um, in a different subscription service. So I'm pumped to have this. Um, this stuff really is nice. It has a very light mojito se uh, scent and taste to it, which I like. And it feels very much like a gloss, um, almost like a hybrid between gloss and Vaseline. This stuff is really cool. It's a little pricey though. It's $12 for one of these, which I probably wouldn't buy, but I've enjoyed it while I've had it. 
Um, I have this Nourish Organic Eye Cream Avocado Plus Argan Normal to Dry Skin. This is nothing special. I don't think it did anything for me. I have somewhat dark under eye circles and I have some fine lines starting to appear. And I didn't feel like this combated either one of those, but this sucker lasted a really long time. And it is a relatively thick product. I think that's because of the avocado that they use, but um, if you're someone who doesn't really need anything except to nourish specifically your under eye circles, you might actually like this. Use up this Morella Monarch um, hand cream sample. I have the full size of this. It's just a sample I got through Birchbox. Um, this is nice. This is a great scent and I think this is a really good hand cream. Totally would recommend buying it. I have this Wonderland Futter Wacken Body Wash. This smelled a lot like an orange creamsicle. Um, there's stuff left in here that I can't seem to get out. This was a nice body wash, but as you guys know, I cannot buy body wash. That would just be morally and ethically wrong. I used up this Beauty Without Cruelty Facial Cleanser with 3% AHA -A 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 Complex. This reminded me a great deal um, to... This was comparable to the First Aid Beauty. I actually really liked this stuff. Uh, the only deterrent is that it's only available online and I just don't wanna buy it. I'd rather buy the First Aid Beauty that I can get Sephora points for and maybe use on it for a discount code. So this stuff is really nice and if it was available in stores, I would totally go ahead and buy it. I have this Origins Modern Friction Nature's Gentle Dermabrasion. <sighs> Herbally, so herbally. I'm discovering that Origin products are very medicinal and herbally, and I don't like those smells, so it's a big turnoff for me, and I would not buy this product for that reason. I have another one of those uh, My Spa Life Under Eye Patches. I'm just using these. I do not think that they're effective, but you know, whatever. It's been fine to try them. I think it only cost me $5 for a full pack. Uh, I have a Tokyo Petals. <laughs> Bath and Body Works candle, favorite scent of all time. Um, I thought they had discontinued this scent and technically they no longer do sell the Tokyo petals, but in the spring release, I went in to smell the candles because I'm that kind of person and I picked up a candle called Love and it smells exactly like Tokyo petals. So they are dupes for each other or it's just basically this scent repackaged. So I, I have purchased that one and it gives me faith that I can purchase more of them because this is hands down my favorite scent of all time. If I could bathe in this, if this could, was a perfume, I would be all about it. Bath and Body Works, please, please turn this into an actual body scent because it is just magical and I freaking adore it. Um, these are little incense um things that I received in my, um, what was it? My fortune cookie soap box. Um, I just don't think I know how these work. Ben, we followed the instructions and Ben lit this and then blew it out like it tells you to and we had it on a plate and it just smoked. And then our fire alarms went off. So I either don't know how to use these or I, I can't use these or mine are just duds. I don't know. Either way, I'm saying goodbye to these. They need to go because I'm just not meant to burn incense pine cones. That's what they're even called. Who, who has any idea? The last part of this empties video are products that I'm getting rid of because they either are very old, something weird is happening to them, or they just don't work and need to go. So that's where we're kind of at with this. The first thing I have is this Hard Candy Plumping Serum Volumizing Lip Gloss. I picked up uh, around Christmas time a Hard Candy little like set that they were selling. And I have to tell you, there have been way more duds in that Hard Candy scent than there have been hits, um, which is unfortunate because I do hear great things about hard candy, but none of the things I've tried in that little kit are outstanding things that I would tell people to go out and buy, which I think is a bit upsetting for hard candy because they have a lot of potential from what I've been told on YouTube, but I don't know. This is the uh, volumizing lip gloss. This does nothing. It really is just um, like a sheer, like it looks almost like Elmer's glue, which I don't want to put that on my face. That's just not a good look. Uh, I also was digging through my collection and I found this Pop Beauty sample. You guys may or may not remember, there was quite a controversy that came around when these came out because they have a really distinct chemically smell and there was tons of controversy and I just don't want to use this for that reason because we don't, aren't really sure what was ever put in those um, 
not very well made glosses, so I'm just going to go ahead and pitch it. Um, speaking of hard candy duds, this is the Lashaholic Super Volume Mascara. Um, ew, just look at that. It's atrocious. I literally have had this open for two months. I was hoping it would dry and then become more usable, but it's just not, so we're going to go ahead and pitch that. Um, more hard candy. This is the Glow All The Way Infused with 24 Karat Gold Glamazon Bronze Face and Body Luminizer. Um, what is that beeping? I don't even know. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Um, where am I going to put that? Like, what, like, what, what is this? This stuff is gross. Like, I just don't understand the point of it. It is so orangey and meh. It's just going to be thrown away. So I don't think there's been anything in the hard candy collection that I got that I've liked. I, I don't know. This is just no good. A uh, couple of eyeliners. Oh, oh, hard candy eyeliner. Um, this is just like super patchy and like chunky. So it's going, uh, I loathe the Lord and Berry. Um, while yes, it seems like this is a nice creamy, you know, opaque eyeliner, it runs on your face as though it's running a marathon and this just needs to go. Um, I'm getting rid of this e.l.f. lip color. I've had it for a couple of years, and the reality is I just don't wear that particular shade, and I don't know the shelf life of these glosses, so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. Um, oop, throwing it on the ground. I have a Wet n Wild Natural Blend Lip Shimmer. I've actually used this all up. I can't get any more out of here. Um, when I dig down a little bit, you can kind of see the color. Not really. So this was fine. This is really, really old. I don't even know if they, I mean, do they even have a natural line anymore? Um, so that needs to go. This Ulta um, eyeliner, it's in green. You have to really like dig down to get any color and it like hurts my hand. And if it hurts my really tough, durable hand skin, my eyelids are not gonna be punished with this particular thing. So it's going to be thrown away. Uh, this Rimmel, it's a double-ended uh, two-tone eye definer. It's got a light pink and a purple. This um, is just hard. It's very hard, not very good color payoff. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw it away. It's probably pretty old. This is one of those things that I would buy because I was told in magazines it was really cool and everybody liked it, but then I didn't know how to really use it. So I just had it and now it's just going to be thrown away. Um, I have this NYX Pump It Up Lip Plumper in the color Lindsay. This is similar to the hard candy where it essentially just looks like glue, but it's just sparkly glue and it doesn't do anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw it away because I'm probably past the 12 month expiration time on it. And then the last thing to round this out, this is my Lash Out Butterfly Mascara. Um, this was all the rage when it first came out. Um, it has this unique wand and it really creates a beautiful effect on this eye. Um, I, however, cannot create that effect because the way I use the wand over here, I can't use the wand um, in my left hand and I can't like finagle it properly. So this is just gonna go away. Um, the formula is nice, again, on the eye that I can have the nice precision and use the wand properly, I'm all about it. But if I can't use both eyes and have them look decently, this needs to go. So those are all of my empties. A lot of things that we're just saying goodbye to because I haven't used them or they're old and whatever, but I'm making good progress. I'll give you guys an update probably at the end of April for my hoarding closet, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.